Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm asking, is it time to change back to a driving iron? Now with the new technology that the manufacturers are building into these golf clubs, can we change back, get rid of these ugly hybrids and start using these beautiful utility clubs? Although you can find an awful lot of the golf clubs in your bag, in a tour professional's bag, even if they are using other shafts and other lofts, uh, one of the clubs which has always had a bit of a problem getting into a tour pro's bag is the hybrid. For some reason, they've always stuck with the irons and long irons, which an awful lot of amateur golfers are having trouble hitting. But there's a new breed of utility club or driving iron on the market now, which is making furrows back into not only tour professionals, but also amateur bags. And what I want to have a look at today is whether um, that is the way you should be going, getting rid of these rather ugly looking devices and putting in this beautiful thing, which really does look nice when you put it down on the ground. Now, I'm a bit old school and I do like a nice thin top edge and uh, a nice chrome finish, but um, I've always had trouble with this kind of cuttlefish on the end of a stick. Um, but the trouble is it works. It's easy to hit and um, it gets, or it fills that gap in my bag um, that I want it to fill. But now, because of technology, there is more going on with these driving irons. They're putting tungsten into the heads, they're hollow heads, you're getting a trampoline effect on the face. So the question is, can I now put this thing out of the bag and get the, um, get the driving iron back in it? It most certainly would be something uh, for my ego, um, but whether it's going to be something for my scores is the reason we're here today. Now, I'm not the youngest golf professional out there, and that means that my club head speed is reducing as well. Um, I will have an average club head speed of around about 90 miles an hour when I'm hitting this hybrid, which is an 18 degree hybrid. And I would expect it to be about the same with the uh, driving iron. You can see that they are similar kind of lengths. I've got a little bit more length on the, on the hybrid than I have with the driving iron, but I don't think I'll be swinging it a great deal slower. Um, the advantages are pretty obvious if you look at them or even the disadvantages. Um, the hybrid has a lower uh, center of gravity. Um, and this is caused by this kind of low profile if you look at the club from the front. Um, obviously an iron is always going to have a higher center of gravity and therefore, at least in the theory, the golf ball is going to get in the air easier with the hybrid. Also, because of the depth of the club, um, not as wide as a wood, but obviously wider than an iron, uh, you're getting a higher MO MOI, which means it's going to be more forgiving for off-center hits. I'm still going to get a bit more ball speed on it. Both of them have a now a trampoline effect in the face, so that is going to be more or less the same. Um, but I would expect to get maybe just a little bit more spin with the hybrid, um, which has obviously, because the center of gravity is further away from the face. Um, is that good to have more spin? Well, for lower club head speeds, yes, because spin will also give you lift, so it will help you to get the golf ball up into the air. Whereas the iron, obviously, if you were trying to play that in wind, then maybe the iron would be better because the lower spinning would also kind of keep it down. Um, but again, it's you pay your money and you take your choice, and it's really a question of getting out on the driving range and trying them out for yourself. What I want to do is basically put them in front of Trapman and see if we can see any difference when we actually hit balls with them. Um, is it really gonna be going further, shorter? Which one is going further or shorter? So it's really a question of uh, putting a few balls down and giving them a slap. Now, when I'm using the uh, 18 degree hybrid. I'm really expecting the golf ball to go around about 220 uh, yards or so. Um, and if I can get that kind of a distance 
on the ball, then I'm very, very happy with it. And if we look there at Trapman there, I've got 89 miles an hour of club head speed. I've got 128 ball speed, 2.6 um, spin, and we've carried it 183 meters, which is around about 200 yards. Um, and what have we got? 206 meters, which is around about 220, 225 yards. So absolutely on the money. And you can see that was really the first shot of the day and the thing's gone straight up the middle. Now you could say maybe it's a little bit of a high ball flight if you're playing in wind, but again, if I look at the Trapman results, it says no, that's really where it ought to be. Um, obviously, this kind of height means it's going to roll out, but it's not maybe going to roll out as far as before. Identical kind of uh, club speed there, a bit more ball speed, got that more out of the middle, a bit more spin, uh, but about the same kind of distance. Yeah, that's similar. Hey, very consistent, Jonathan. 90 miles an hour, 127 uh, meet, or no, 127 ball speed. What have we got there? 178 fly and uh, 204 meters complete. So again, around about 220 yards if you prefer it all in yards. And there, I even felt like I caught that a bit heavy, but obviously this kind of wide sole on the hybrid will just let it kind of slide over the ground. And that's why it'll be maybe a little easier to hit if you're hitting it from um, semi-rough or something. There is always a chance of an iron kind of being caught up in any grass that you've got there. Um, so let's uh, have a look and see what the hybrid does. Now, first of all, obviously from the way it looks I feel very confident about this golf club um, but it's about the way it flies Whoa. I probably caught that a little bit heavy um, but it's set off very very low I think what we got a launch angle of seven degrees against what I had with the hybrid which is around about kind of 13 so that went off very very low that's also a very low flight now again I've got a ball speed here or a club speed of around about 90 miles an hour so like I was saying it's more or less the same you really can kind of compare them the Ball speed's about the same. What have we got there? 129 miles an hour, so virtually the same ball speed as I had with a hybrid, or at least within a couple of miles an hour. Uh, the spin is down 2.5 against maybe 3.5. Um, the carry is well down. We're looking at 160 meters of carry, which is probably about 180 yards. Um, and we've got a complete distance of 194, which is probably uh, 210, so it's a little bit shorter than the hybrid. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a fade going on with them as well. Um, nice of that one. It's gone off at seven degrees launch, so. Uh, I don't know how well that you can actually see these. I'll try and get them tracked when we do the video uh, in post, uh, but they're all pretty straight. Um, but there's a definite distance in difference in kind of launch. I was doing kind of anywhere come between 13, 14 degrees of launch with the uh, hybrid, and we're down to kind of nine tops 10 with the 
with the driving iron. I actually tried to give that one a little bit more air and it's still not really gone very high at all. We're up to there, 10 degrees of launch. It's also the spin, I'm looking at 2.6. Um, catch that at all. <laughs> hey, yeah. 87 87 miles an hour of club head speed, 125 miles of ball speed, um, 193 meters, which is probably about 210 yards. So I'm, I'm a good 10 yards shorter. Virtually everything apart from the launch and the spin is the same. Ball speed, club speed. Um, I think maybe my club speed is just a little bit too low for the club. Uh, for the iron. If you are out there hitting it with maybe anything up to kind of 95 to 100 miles an hour, it might actually find that because you're getting extra spin, you'll also be getting it up into the air a little bit uh, easier because it's basically got a little bit more lift. Uh, the problem I'm seeing here with this, um, I'm going to have around about kind of 30 yards or 35 yards of roll when I've got these kind of low spin numbers and I really don't want that coming into a green. Um, it's just going to roll through, especially if I get a hard surface that I'm coming onto. Whereas the uh, hybrid has got around about kind of 15 to 20 yards of roll, um, and it's still getting me the distance that I want because it's giving me through that that higher launch and that a little bit of extra spin. It's giving me a, a better carry distance. So all in all, um, I'm going to be have to keep the cuttlefish in the bag. Um, not something that I really wanted to do, but um, again, you've got to be objective here. Um, it's a beautiful looking golf club, this X-Forged, um, and I really must say when I look down at it, maybe if I can ever get out and play a bit of Lynx golf, I might take it with me. Certainly if you're wanting to hit off tight turf uh, with a golf club with a nice small blade type sole, that's going to be beneficial. But if you're playing from a Parkland golf course or your ball is spending a lot of time in kind of the semi-rough, then you're most certainly going to have more fun with the hybrid because it's just getting it out of that grass a lot easier. And if you get into the grass a little early, then it's just going to kind of glide over it. That kind of boat-shaped hole, um, if you want, is going to just kind of slip across the grass and into the golf ball. So you should be able to hit the golf ball out of virtually any lie with this thing, which is really beneficial. Um, as ever, if you're choosing golf equipment, please do test it yourself. Um, irrespective of who's tested it for you, we all have our own individual swings. We all have our own individual ways of delivering the club against the golf ball. So it's almost impossible for you to look at a YouTube video and say, well, God, I'm going to go out there and buy that. Um, but it might just narrow down the choice. And if you are really looking um, to fill a gap in your bag in these in the range where the long irons usually sit um, then at the moment I think I can still uh, recommend that you look at hybrids rather than driving irons unless you really have a problem with the way they look or you can actually see on the golf course a definite advantage of you taking one of the irons. Um, as ever um, if this has helped you please don't forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, and don't forget the little bell will give you notifications the next time that I uh, post a video. Thank you again to all of my patrons. Um, if you would like to support me on Patreon, I shall leave a link below. Um, you know who you are, but thank you very, very much. It does help me an awful, awful lot. Um, I'll be back very shortly with the next video. Until then, look after yourselves, keep well, and bye-bye.